Hello people, what up? It's the Gravy Boat here, and today Thank we are Kato. playing some Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls sucks. Team you Kato. suck. Gravy Boat sucks. Gravy Boat's awesome. Don't listen to him. He's stupid. Okay. Potato Team rocks. Potato Team is non-existent. They suck. You know, not, not literally. For all those people who are on the potato team, you know, yeah, you don't all suck. Yeah, all the potatoes make the other, make the gravy boats suck and swallow. But, you know, as I said, today we are playing the Dark Souls. <laughs> Considerably one of the, you know, most difficult games that you can get. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Um, down in the comment section below, uh... Tell me how long I should make these videos. I'm like, I'm too but, um, yeah, so we'll make a new character. Um, we'll go ahead and name him. Bit about Joe. Uh, let's do. Gravy Boat. Um, yeah, Gravy Boat. No, Gravy Man. We'll do Gravy Man. Let's do Gravy. I will be here too. Uh, he's obviously a guy. Because, you know, I'm a guy. Sure no offense that. to the women out there. Yeah, we still um, love you. We've got the warrior, which is uh, high strength and dexterity. We've got high HP, solid armor, not easily toppled. Uh, the wanderer. The thief. The bandit. The hunter. The sorcerer. Pyromancer, the cleric, and the deprived. <laughs> <laughs> not not you a should, very pretty you sight. Do the deprived but, um, you start... I'm going to go ahead and start with the Wanderer. He's pretty good, you know, to kind of get started off with. He's got pretty decent, you know, all around stats. And if I decide to put some into magic, it wouldn't be too hard to become, you know, a sorcerer of sorts. And. Sorry if there's any background noise. Just we've got a cooling system and it's super hot over here. So, yeah. So and we can choose a gift. Mentioned. We can choose a gift, which is you know an item that you get to start with. Oh, <coughs> uh, we can get the goddess's blessing, which is fully restores HP and status. Uh, black fire bombs, twin humanities, binoculars, pendant, master key. Tiny Beings Ring, and Old Witch's Ring. Oh, by the way, guys, if you would like to read any of the, uh, the things down below, like what they mean, could you pause the video? I'll show all of them. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and go with Twin Humanities, because I have played a bit of this game before, and that's one of the better things to start out with. Um, I think we're going we're gonna to go ahead and make him, you know, pretty, pretty fat. because. Oh, Justin Top Heavy is that giant head. But we'll go ahead and, you know, give him that big padonka donk, if you know what I mean. Got that big jump, donk. Get that trunk. Uh, we'll go ahead and go with the Astora Noble, yeah, because it's pretty it pasty now. white. I look pretty pasty white. Yeah, um, you never go outside. Go outside. Um. <coughs> We'll go ahead and go with uh, semi long, so he's like semi. a semi semi whatever. Who cares? Um, we'll do a dark brown, so he's a fat guy with longish dark brown hair. I think that's pretty good. You're able to go into the customization and like go in and customize like everything if you feel like it. But, you know, I'm not going to do that just to kind of save you guys some time. So we'll go ahead and accept and start up the game. This is it. The world was unformed. Shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire 
became disparity. Heat, the cold, life, the death, and of course, light. the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. of Isaac and her daughters of chaos. Grim, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. last words. Even now, there are only embers. A man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living unseen, carriers of the accursed dark side. Alright, now I'm pretty sure that was it of the uh, talking in the first cutscene. But, as I said, sorry about the sound uh, problems. If that was too loud or too quiet, you know, I can't do much about it at this point in time. We're still waiting to get a graphics card. But I'll try to be quiet whenever there's somebody talking, and it's, you know, important yes, enough. Yes, Oop, sorry. The dark side brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This that is us. And there's our ugly face. And there's a the dead body. So here we are 
in the middle of the game, you know, our fat selves, you know, ugly face and all, and that guy up there dropped down a body that has an item on it. And items in this game can be told when you see, like, a glowing white kind of mist above a dead body. Oh, you get the point. So we just got a dungeon cell key, which will actually let us out of the dungeon. If I press the right button. <laughs> so here we are, walking down you know, dungeon hallway. Now these guys are hollows. They're enemies, but they don't attack when they first see you in this place. All we have to do with right now is what's left of a sword, obviously. And there's a fat dragon. You know, because fat dragons. <laughs> so. Um, but... We're able to sprint by holding down B, and we're able to roll by tapping B. And for a fat person, we roll pretty fast. Now this is a bonfire. Bonfires are like the best thing in this game, you know, well pretty much like the best thing. It's pretty much the best thing since, you know, chicken and waffles and stuff. But they serve as checkpoints, so whenever you die, you come back to the bonfire. Sorry about that. Go on with what you were saying with you. Okay, cut out. Okay. But, as you can see up there, there's another fat dragon. When we walk into this room, I know for a fact that he jumps down and tries to sit on you. Right now, as I'm, you know, with only a broken piece of crap sword and no shield, I'm not going to fight him. But just watch how things go down. Literally go down. <laughs> Ow. And we made it out alive. And we almost died, so that's a good thing. Burn fire. Now that mist that shows up whenever you sit down and rest at a bonfire respawns all the enemies in the area. What we just picked up there was a leather shield, which, you know, will help because it's able to block damage at the cost of your stamina. Which is the green bar in the top left. And the red bars obviously help. And right there we picked up a scimitar. Which is a curved sword. And as you can tell, right now we're doing a lot more damage than we were just doing. Now you're able to two hand weapons in this game, and right now I'm two handing the scimitar. And when you two hand weapons, it makes them do a little bit more damage. And that's the guy that gave us the stuff. So up here... I because it fell. It's okay if I'm falling. But what I did there is I rolled off the stairs because a giant, you know, bowling ball, wrecking, I don't know, cannonball thing fell down. But here is the knight that saved us. Oh, you. You're now hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then I lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I were both half dead. In the end. Oh. 
Um, we'll go ahead. No, I have favorable knowledge that perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There's an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. And thine exodus from the undead asylum make it a pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead hath shot. But now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Esther's flask. An undead fate. And that's the key that we're going to need to get out of the asylum. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. So, what an Estus Flask is, it's pretty much the main healing item that you've got in the game. And you need healing items in order to, you know, survive. And here's the courtyard that we were just at. This game has lots and lots of, you know, intricate little shortcuts and small details that can easily be missed by just, you know, rushing through the game. I'll try to find whatever I can, and if I miss something, just comment down below and tell me what I am missing. Because, you know, I want to try to be a completionist with the game. Dang it. But we'll go ahead and leave this video off here. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.